Today's the 23rd. Is it the 23rd? And I still have not killed a buck, y'all. But hey, man, I tell y'all what, I'm in a good mood. I'm positive. You're going to have years that suck. You're going to have really good years. Um, it's just kind of how it goes. That's hunting. And uh, you can't you can't have a great year every year. Got the kayak loaded up. I'm pretty much going to, the next... I guess this afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning, I'm going to be hunting this public really hard. So I'll get a good solid three days into it. Uh, three, three and a half days. And we'll see what we can muster up. Sometimes I ask myself, why do I do all this stuff for a deer? So you see this ridge right here? Swamp right there. I'm going way around. I might jump some deer, but that's okay. So basically, you got pressure on all sides of this swamp. And I'm quite certain I'm the only one that is getting into the guts of this stuff. Like I said before, I've got a lock on hung. On this peninsula, I've got to wade a bunch of water. But this is a just a classic example of response to pressure. I just hope that buck is laying in a swamp instead of on one of these little finger ridges about halfway to where I need to be. But one thing I like to do, there's a trail coming off this ridge, but not to beat Onyx down y'all's throat too much, but it is a really good, useful tool that I use. I'll mark that trail right there, and any sign I find along my way, I'll mark it about where it is. I'm not gonna walk right up on sign, but if I see a rub line off in the distance or something, I'll mark that. And just pay attention to stuff when you're going, scouting your way, still hunting to your tree. It'll let you kinda know what more of the deer are doing so if you need to adjust you got a better idea what the deer are doing I'm all set up when in my face you can see out here there's a few trees that's where I found all the buck beds last year around December well maybe it was November it was about the same time of the year and um, what they're doing is they're working off this point cutting through this little gap beavers cut down a bunch of stuff in here beavers got a run that runs right out and that's pretty much what I accessed on um, it kind of makes a little loop in there but I predict are either going to come from behind me right down through here they're going to come from those trees and come in this thick stuff right here is where all these bucks should be pushed into because of pressure so I'll probably do some grunting and stuff as it gets later in the evening we'll see what happens I'll probably have a, gonna have like a 34 yard shot so I'm going to have to hold high
come down from the tree and uh, I didn't see a deer, didn't hear a deer. But further down this swamp, there's a, uh, there's a little V where another SMZ hits and goes around this swamp and that's probably where I need to be in the morning. Just catching deer movement from both sides of these different SMZs. I need to get up in there. The wind should be good for it tomorrow morning. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. Just I've got uh, one of these little hangers. I'll probably just sit on the ground, um, prop up on a log or something, get in there real early. But I'll see y'all in the morning. Well, good luck to you. Hope you catch a big one. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm paddling. We got a long ways to paddle. Looks like I'm gonna have to paddle to get away from people on this little public land trip here. I'm gonna get away from all the pressure. All right, I'm set up. I've got a big clear cut all the way around this hardwood head. And so my wind's heading back to the water, but there's two different rubs right in front of the tree. So it's a really good spot, lots of security. I can see a big buck being in here. We'll see what happens this afternoon. From the tree uh, wasn't able to film a whole lot there my battery on my big camera had died um, and then this new GoPro is messing up so um, but I did have probably I don't know nine or ten different does that come in they came in that hardwood head um, and they just started piling in there so there's got to be a buck got to be a buck if there's one there'll be one right there tomorrow morning well good morning just ran into a guy a while ago. I told him where I was gonna be. I was asking him to keep the weight down if he didn't mind. It seemed like a nice fella. Well, bad news and good news. Bad news, my big camera battery, the second one, is now dead. Good news is that I have two GoPros, so I've already seen two different deer. Well, I'd say another buck came by just out of range, or just in range. Easy chip shot, I mean, it's 20 yards. A big doe came by about 30, but there's a bunch of deer in here. I mean, yesterday, like I say, I saw nine or 10 does. So first, doe that gets within 30 yards when I'm ready I'm sending an arrow the update I had a chance there was five does five more came in the the biggest doe she came right here I mean I'm at the mouth of like a snake tongue forks right forks left it runs up in these gullies clear cut all the way around and uh, I had a 
chance to shoot that sucker at 22 yards right here below me, but I, I had a little bit of battery left on the big camera, and I was trying to get the, sh get the shot for y'all, and for me, because I like to review the shot, but, uh, dang, she walked over there and looked at the kayak, and, uh, by the time she settled down, she's 35-ish, just too far out of my comfort zone, and they all fed, they all eased off on up to the right side of that snake tongue, so, I know I got one doe down, because she's, for sure, I heard her crash, but, uh, I'm going to sit here a little while longer. I don't know what time it is because my phone is currently broken. And I have a replacement coming today. So I guess I'll just get down when I quit seeing deer. Well, I'm down from the tree and uh, let's go track this deer. So, this is at the shot. And there's my arrow buried in the ground. Looks good to me. Plenty of blood on the ground. deer went this way. I heard it crash, so let me put this air up and we'll get the track. Red carpet. That deer ain't far. Who says salmon's don't make them bleed? Oh, there it is. Exited the heart. That's what you want. Alright, so back to the kayak. Got my bow right there. So there's your entrance. A little old uh, exited the heart. Um gotta load it up. Hey. Meat's meat. Y'all know how many deer I let go all the time. I told y'all the first one that got within bow range I was gonna shoot. I wish I could have the doe that uh, I had at 22 yards, all those deer in there, and that thing was huge. It was like three of those. I mean, that's a little old doe, but she'll eat good. I know that. I'll make some poppers out of her this afternoon. But I'm gonna um, edit some footage, get some stuff together, and uh, check out some more of these little pockets. It's just uh, kind of responding to pressure. I'm getting into the deer. I'm just not finding the bucks and. I'm gonna go around and try a different spot. I'm gonna give this whole kayak a deer out thing one more run here. It's a pretty good spot. I'm into the deer, so same doe hole and shoot another one. I like to shoot a little, one a little bit bigger than like 60, 70 pounds. But hey, no promises. If I see another little doe, might shoot her, shoot another one. But uh, we'll see. I have to check the wind and uh, make my mind up. As I'm uh, man, I'm late, y'all. Got a lot more paddling to do. Hopefully, I can get set up before the deer start moving because it is kind of hot today. Maybe that'll slow them down with the movement. But I doubt it. This is a pretty hot spot. Oh, that'd be scaring deer this afternoon. If I could get set up. Not bumping anything though. You probably have another bloody arrow. 
Take it off. That Thanksgiving meal. That's for sure. Somebody's climbed this tree before. This is really the better tree. This should put me within 20 yards of all these does when they start coming out, feeding on these acorns. I gotta get up this tree real quiet and quick. All right, I'd be surprised if I don't kill something this evening. I got in here just like extremely quiet. Got set up. The wind was supposed to be going straight out in front of me, but as I Figured the thermals are pulling straight back to the kayak. So, I have no clue if this mic's even working or the scope road because I don't do no water. But, we'll see what happens this evening. see me or not because my light doesn't work on my vlog setup but the air sounded good I couldn't tell much because the these knocks are junk I'm so ready to change knocks I couldn't tell where the air hit but it sounded good she ran out there and stopped walked a little and then I thought I heard her lay down so I'm gonna give her a little while and then I'll get down and see if I can go recover her that looks real good. Buried in the ground, lots of blood. So I think I got her. Let's see if we can, f let's see if we can find her. Bleeding an awful lot. Bleeding an awful lot right here. She can't be far. Man, that's, that deer's toast. Ain't no way that deer. Yeah, that deer's dead. Oh, yeah. And they say Simmons don't make them bleed. I don't know what these people are talking about. Oh, right there. Right there. That is... A heart shot deer. If I've ever seen one, that's your that's your entrance right there, right in the heart. That's that doe. She's gonna test that kayak out. That is a giant doe. I'm gonna pull her jawbone. That's a monster. <sighs> See if I can get her on that kayak. This ought to be interesting. Guess we're gonna test the weight limit of this situation here. When I tell y'all this is the biggest doe I think I've ever killed, um, 
I mean, that thing's head's the size of a football. I mean, that's a hundred and, I don't know, man. I'm scared to say. Yes, she's a fat one. Got my pack, climber, bow, strapped down. We'll see how this all pans out here. Yep, we're testing the weight limits. Gotta be real careful here. Probably should have just packed her out. Well, we'll see y'all on the next one.